Hi, it's Alhan for the Other Brewers, and in this video, we're going to explore on how to create a three-dimensional ambisonics ambience in Pro Tools Ultimate using our AB encoder and AB decoder. Now, the cool thing about using our three-dimensional ambiences is that you just create them once. They contain all the information that happens around the listener, and then you just decode that once to whatever speaker array imaginable, from stereo to 5.1 to your Dolby Atmos 714 productions, etc., etc. So I'm going to start by adding all my media to my project. So I have four different files, and each of these files comes in a different recording format. I'm doing this on purpose so that I can show you the versatility of AB encoder. So I have like a quadraphonic file, I have a 5.1 file, and I have a, a couple of stereo files, and everything is going to be placed in my sound field and later be decoded to 712. So I'm just going to drag all my files here. And you can see that automatically Pro Tools has assigned the track width to each of my files. So now that I have everything inserted, and just because I want to keep things a little bit organized, I'm just going to put all these tracks in one folder track that is going to contain my ambience so that afterwards I can just deal with that track uh, independently because I imagine that your project is going to have like hundreds of tracks. So I'm going to create a new folder track, but this folder track is going to be in third order ambisonics. Now this track is going to be a routing folder track and I'm just going to call it ambience. And now I'm going to place all my tracks to my ambience. And I'm going to make sure that all my tracks are going through my ambience track. Now everything is going through my ambience track, which is a third order ambisonics track. And my ambience track is going to my output, which is a 712. But tracks have to be first encoded to Ambisonics, and then this has to be decoded to 712. So what I'm going to do is insert AB encoder in the first insert slot of each of my tracks. So here I have a stereo track. So I'm going to add AB encoder. And it's going to encode from stereo to third order Ambisonics. I'm going to do the same with my second track. From stereo to third order Ambisonics. Then for my third track, which is in 5.1, I'm just going to add AB encoder from 5.1 to third order ambisonics. And finally, my last track, which is quadraphonic, I'm just going to add from quadraphonic to third order ambisonics. Now, everything has been routed to my ambience track, which is a third order ambisonics track. But before being able to listen to this properly, I have to decode this third order ambisonics track to my speaker layout. Um, I'm just going to make an insert in the very last slot of my folder track, which is going to contain my AB decoder. And it's going to go to the speaker layout I want to be using. In this case, it's going to be a 712. And finally, if I start exploring each of the tracks, let's just see what we have here. So first I have my reverb, everything is being encoded and decoded properly because I can hear the reverb that is right there. Now I'm just going to place this reverb somewhere around my head in my three-dimensional field. As you can see by using the panner, I can just move this reverb around uh, my head. I'm just going to put it on the left, a little bit on the bottom there. Now let's go to my quadraphonic recording which is going to be my core ambience. It's a mountain with little to no wind. So because this is the core ambience, I want it to be at ear level. So I pretty much don't have to do anything here. And then I'm going to go to my 5.1 track, which is um, some birds. Let's see how they sound. Okay, so because they're birds, I want them to come out from my height speakers. So for doing that, I'm just going to lift the recording so that there is more emphasis on the height speakers. Let's just put them somewhere there. And I can feel that my birds are coming from above my head. And so if I listen to these three tracks, let's just skip this one for the timing.
okay, now I have created my three-dimensional ambience, which contains my ear level mountain, then you have some birds above my head, and then you have the river that I added, you know, below on my left. Now let's just add one last element to this atmosphere, which is gonna be these birds. Okay, and now let's just say that I want to just play with these birds, you know, they have to be above my head as well. Uh, but I want them to move, you know, just to give a little bit of motion to my, um, to my ambience. So for doing that, I'm just going to write the automation of the path. So let me just add the azimuth and the elevation. And now let me just make this to be a touch automation. And when I press play. And now when I press read, I can see that the automation has been written. So if I put all these things together, And that is how you get a three-dimensional ambience. Now, right now, I am using a 712 decoding uh, layout because that's the width of a Dolby Atmos bed. But if I wanted to decode this to 5.1 or to stereo, all I would have to do is just um, set here uh, stereo or 5.1 or whatever speaker array configuration I am going to be using. And the cool thing as well is that now, after this insert, Everything that happens is in ambisonics, and before it's being decoded is also in ambisonics. So I can add any of the Audio Brewers plugins that work natively in ambisonics if I want to just create a little bit of sound design. So for example, say that I just want to add, you know, to this crazy bird that I created, a Vortex in third order ambisonics. And if I listen to it, You can create really, really cool things with this. And that is how you create a three-dimensional atmosphere with a little bit of sound design going on. The cool thing about this is that you're not stuck in one speaker layout, but it can just work with every speaker layout configuration you might have now or you might need in the future because all the information is being translated from a spheric acoustic field that happens around the listener. If you have any questions or any comments, just let me know below. And well, thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.